Hey everybody, it's Brian with Instructional Tech. This year we are starting our transition away from Outlook. Now there's two sides to this. Outlook is what's called the client. It runs on your computer and it displays emails. In the back, in a closet over uh, at a different building, there's this thing called an exchange server. And that's where the emails are actually brought in and then sent to you. So this year, that exchange server is not getting any new emails sent to it. Everything is gonna go to Gmail. So you need to work on getting yourself familiar with Gmail and we've got a lot of videos on how to do that. The Outlook client can still be used to open emails that you already have. So we turn off incoming emails this June, June 30th, that's gonna stop receiving new emails. You can still open Outlook and it'll look the same, you just won't have any new mail in there. One year later, we're actually going to shut off the Exchange server, meaning you gotta download a backup of all of your emails if you wanna keep those. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today in this video. Here's my current Outlook inbox. You can see I've got all of my emails here. And if you look at the unread, it's over 5,000. So we're gonna archive this. To do that, go to File, Import, and Export. You need to export a file. Just make the selection and then click Next. Then you need to choose a personal folder file or a .pst file and then click Next. Choose your inbox. You don't want deleted items, you don't want notes. Hit Inbox and then click on the browse button to choose where to save it. I save mine to my desktop just because that's an easy place to find it later. And then click OK. Back in the window, you can leave it as replace duplicates and then click on finish. You can rename your folder. I call mine Outlook Backup just so I know what to find later. If you want to set a password on it, you can do that at this point as well, but you don't have to set a password on it. When you've saved your settings, you can click on OK. Outlook will then begin the export, and this will take some time depending on the size of your inbox. Mine took about 15 minutes, so we're gonna skip ahead. Once your inbox is saved, you can actually clear out everything. So I'm gonna delete all of my emails right now. All 5,000 are gonna get deleted. Now that all of my emails from the inbox, from that Exchange server are gone, I can open up the archive that we just made. So I'm gonna to go to File, and click on open. And you want to open an Outlook data file. Here, choose the backup that you saved to your desktop. You can see mine is over one gigabyte. They're large files. Click on OK. And then Outlook will open up a new folder over on the sidebar. You need to open it up and then click on inbox. And there are all of my emails that I just archived, everything in my inbox that I saved out. So if you want this backup, if you have emails you need to keep, you can also search for it just like you could in your normal inbox. It's just pulling from the file rather than the Exchange server. So again, this shuts off on June 30th. You will not receive new emails to Outlook. One year later, we will delete all of the emails in that server. So no new email starting in July. Save a backup of your inbox, and then you can open up Outlook when you need to find that email. You can also find more help videos on our YouTube channel.